Boys, I am here to do my favorite thing today. Talk about my opinions on World of Warcraft. And for some reason, they get people upset in comment sections. But throughout my life, I have played thousands and thousands of hours of WoW. Starting back in 2009, actually, in the later end of Wrath of the Lich King. But thanks to Classic WoW becoming a thing, and very little experience on private servers, I have had some experience playing every single expansion of World of Warcraft. Obviously, some I played much more than others, but today I wanted to do my personal ranking of every expansion of the game. Now, all my rankings are going to be based off of my own personal tastes and personal experiences in the game. So if you want to argue down in the comments about how my opinions are wrong, well, go ahead. I'll go ahead and read them with some popcorn later. But before we start, for anybody wondering about my hardcore series, don't worry, I am still alive. The next video is on the way. Just let me cook for a little bit longer. And also, if you want to go down in the comments below, I'd love to hear your rankings or just your favorite expansion over Overall, if you don't want to type out all of it, I love seeing y'all's opinions as long as you're not angry at me for some reason. Now, this is going to sound weird, but hear me out. I'm going to start with my favorite, and then from there, I'm going to go from worst to best. And that's because my favorite is Vanilla WoW. I thought I'd say this first because technically it's not an expansion, so I can rank the expansions after this. But like I said earlier, I started at the end of Wrath of the Lich King, so I never really got to play the real Vanilla WoW. I was really young back then, and to be honest, Honest, I'm pretty sure we didn't even have internet at my house back in 2004. My first experience, though, with Vanilla WoW was on a little private server named Nostalrius. And at the time, it was the best one. And it was a really fun experience for me back then. But shortly after I started, Blizzard shut it down. And I didn't really play any private servers. I kind of watched people play private servers, but I didn't play them myself. But we did eventually get Classic WoW. And that's where I fell in love with Vanilla Warcraft. And for me personally, no expansion even comes close. The leveling experience, the dungeons, the way you interact with players, no expansion does it as good as Vanilla WoW. And I don't care what anybody says, 40-man raids are the most badass thing in all of WoW. I don't care how easy they are and little to no mechanics, it's fun. Running into a place with 40 motherfuckers is so badass. And no other expansion really has that RPG feel that Vanilla does. And I could go on and on about how it's so much better than all the expansions. But maybe I'll save that for its own video one day because I'd be here all day yapping. So we got to get to ranking all the other expansions. So let's start from worst to best. Starting with number nine, the very worst expansion, in my opinion. This shouldn't be a shock. It's Shadowlands. Now, Shadowlands pissed me off the second it was announced because they just had to start it with a cinematic of Sylvanas going and beating the literal Lich King in a fight. Now, if Arthas was the Lich King still, he would have killed her ass again because I know he would not have put up with that. And after that cinematic, I thought it couldn't get any worse. But then the expansion itself came out. Now, there was some cool stuff in Shadowlands, sure, like Sire Denathrius, that dude was badass. You know, some of the other boss fights, the armor sets were kind of cool. There was some cool mounts, but there was just so so much stuff that pissed me off. Like, for example, remember when we couldn't ride any mounts in the mall for months? That was annoying. And another little thing that kind of made me mad was if you wanted to go from one of the Shadowlands zones to the other one, well, you would have to fly back to Oribos first, and then from Oribos, you could go there. You couldn't go anywhere without going back to Oribos first. It made traveling so annoying. And don't get me started on Torghast. Torghast was pretty much a requirement to do, and it made me hate it. And the legendaries. I hated the legendaries. So there was just so much I didn't like in Shadowlands, so I didn't play it as much other than just the last season. And I'll be honest, the only reason I played the last season was because I wanted that Jigglesworth mount because I knew they were going to get rid of it after. And I could go on and on about how I don't like Shadowlands, but we got more expansions to rank. Number eight, Battle for Azeroth. For me, BFA just took a lot of the good stuff from Legion and overdid it. Driv it into the ground. Beat a dead horse nonstop. And for me personally, the theme and story of BFA just wasn't my favorite, especially just coming off of Legion. And in the battle for Azeroth, they also did something that I will never forgive them for doing. 
they thought it would be a good idea to get rid of class specific tier sets and there only being one set per armor type from each raid and you know maybe it wouldn't have been as big of a deal if the sets themselves weren't some of the most but ugly sets that they've ever made in the game. Now, I didn't complain about this in the Shadowlands sections because at least in Shadowlands, the sets looked cool. Now, BFA was also where it kind of felt like dungeons started giving trash mobs way more mechanics. And I get it, it's for Mythic Plus. But personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Mythic Plus. It's okay, it's not the worst thing in the world. And if you like it, that's fine, I don't really care. I just don't like infinite scaling and grinding on that kind of stuff. And there was also Azerite gear back then, which personally, I didn't like trying to figure out which Azerite traits were the best. So I have to get the gear with the best traits. And th there was just so much stuff. And whenever gearing gets super complicated, I just don't have fun. I like, hey, this dungeon or this raid has this item. Let's go get that. Number seven, Warlords of Draenor. Now, WAD had a lot of good things about it, which a lot of people won't say. But it was probably one of the coolest themes of any expansion besides probably Wrath of the Lich King for me. It felt like Warcraft. There was also garrisons, one of the worst features they ever put into the game, and just a general lack of content in the expansion, and it made for a little bit of a letdown. But I don't think Watt had a single bad raid tier. There just wasn't enough of them. It was the first expansion to only have three raids, which is very sad, because now it feels like it's becoming the normal for every expansion to only have three raids, so like, what is going on? And Watt also had the big graphics update for the game, which I know split a lot of players. I know some people didn't like how cartoony it became, but I personally think it looks great. It gave the game more stylistic look. But back at the time, I really hated the graphics update. Well, because I played on a potato computer back then, and even on the lowest settings, I could only get 12 FPS, so I was not having a fun time. And that eventually led to me taking a break from the game for some months until I eventually got a better computer. But WAD, it was all right. You know, it was okay. It wasn't the worst. The worst thing they did in WAD was kill my boy Garrosh, and it made me so angry because Thrall cheated, and people want to forget about that and like Thrall again. To this day, I will not forgive Thrall for cheating. He's still a punk to me because of that. And at number six, I got Miss of Pandaria. Now at this point, I'm not gonna have too many bad things to say about each of these expansions. I liked almost all of them from here on. Now for Pandaria, I think the weakest thing about it was just the theme. A lot of people weren't into it. It was kind of Kung Fu Panda. Now I know a lot of people liked it, but for me, it just didn't feel like Warcraft. And I was a lot younger back then, and there's no way you were convincing early teenager me that fighting pandas was cool. Especially when we just got done fighting Death Wing and Ragnaros in the last expansion. My only other complaint really was just I didn't think the armor sets were that good either. Like they weren't that cool. And there was also a very, very long time between the last patch of Mist of Pandaria until the release of Warlords of Draenor. There was like over a year of no new content. The longest content drought in the game's history, at least at the time. I don't know if that record's been broken ever since. Let me know down below. But there was a lot of good raids in the expansion. Most notably Throne of Thunder and Siege of Oak. And I'll say even since then, we have not had a cooler end of expansion boss than Garrosh Hellscream. At number five, I got Cataclysm. A lot of people would definitely put Miss of Pandaria above Cata, but this is my list, okay? And it's mostly here for personal reasons. I had the most fun during Cataclysm in all of the expansions. I had a small group of friends that I played the game with every single night, and I had a ton of fun. And yes, the theme was 1000% cooler than Pandaria. We were going to fight a big dragon. Like, that's like everything about Warcraft. Now, they also added the best race to be playable in the game after this, the goblins, and goblins also had one of the best starting zones of them all. 5v5 arenas was also something in Kata, which I really enjoyed with my friends as well as Tol Barad, but you know, that's because I was playing them with my friends. I don't know how other people had fun with it or not. And the reason I have Cata this slow on the list is because I know it has its flaws. Cataclysm was where they really started to pump up mechanics and difficulty in raids, which is something I'm not the biggest fan of. I just don't think you're cooler because you are in a guild that does raids that are harder. And yes, I still do raid in WoW currently, so don't try to discredit me there. I will do up to heroic though, and I'll call it a day. I don't have any interest in mythic raiding. It does not sound like fun. It's just frustrating 
frustrating and it feels like you're wasting hours and hours just waiting for another person to not fuck up the mechanics and overall just a ton of time wasting but that's just rating in general not specific to cataclysm at number four i got dragonflight the current expansion in world of warcraft and I do think it is a lot of fun at the moment. The systems are good, the content is good, and I'm having lots of fun. And I think dragon riding is one of the best things that they've ever added into the game. It makes me wish that this was the only way we ever got flying from the start. And also being able to fly on day one, only a few quests in, made everyone happy. Especially coming off of the Shadowlands launch where you started in the Maw, and in the Maw you could only go on foot. Going from that to being able to fly day one sure felt good. Now the reason Dragonflight isn't higher up on this list, I just don't really like the theme and the story. I don't think it's cool. I think it's kind of like, I don't know, girly? I don't, maybe not girly but it's just not Warcraft. I, know, I don't know. I know it's subjective and some of you might disagree and that's fine. But for me, it's just kind of lame. And another thing that I think is very lame is the fact that we will most likely only have three raid tiers again this expansion. It seems like season four will just be a copy of Shadowlands season four where we just play the past raids every week instead. And I just find this super, super lame. And I just think I don't like seasons to be honest. And at number three, I got Wrath of the Lich King. Now, I know a lot of people would have Wrath maybe at number one or number two. But like I said earlier, I only started playing in the later end of the expansion. And as embarrassing as this is to admit, I never even got to max level during the expansion. Now, I actually did play WoW during most of Wrath of the Lich King, but the reason I don't really count it was because I played over a year on those old 10-day free trial accounts, just starting over every 10 days on a new one. Listen, all right, we were pretty poor growing up, so there was no way I could convince my parents to buy me a game, buy me two expansions for that game, and then also pay $15 a month to keep playing that one single game. But there was a chance to relive Wrath of the Lich King when it came time in Classic WoW. And I tried it, but it just wasn't for me, to be honest. The biggest thing for me was them adding the WoW token and just the overall community and just everything being about GDKPs and buying gold to use that gold to buy gear. It just all put a sour taste in my mouth, and I'm sure there was guilds that you could go in and do regular runs and play the game normally, but I just didn't really have the time commitment. But I will say Wrath of the Lich King wins over everyone for the theme. Finally being able to go on and take on the Lich King after so many years, it just had to feel awesome. And it also had some of the best armor sets in the game, at least for my class. And well, Wrath of the Lich King added my class, my favorite class, the best class in the game, the Death Knight, which is still my main to this day, and I will never switch. And also, bonus points for adding Grizzly Hills, the best zone in the whole game. At number two, I have Legion. Now, yes, Legion did have some flaws, mostly the legendaries. But I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really mind the legendaries because I got really lucky and got my best ones like right away. So I wasn't hunting for them all expansion. Sorry for those who didn't have the same luck. But Legion also had one of the most fun stories and themes with fighting the Burning Legion, fighting some of the most badass bosses in Warcraft's history. Gul'dan, Kill Jaden, Agrimar, fighting alongside Illidan, fighting on the seat of the Pantheon, grabbing Sargeras at the end. But there was one thing I was pretty upset about though, and that was the artifact weapons, okay? Paladins, they got Ashbringer, Shamans, they got Doomhammer, but us Death Knights, we couldn't get the real Frostmourne, really? Like, I get it. It was destroyed in Wrath, but come on, we could have totally just put it back together, crafted it up as a new two-handed sword again. Not the little knives that they gave Frost Death Knights, okay? I don't even play Frost, I play Unholy. And to be honest, I wasn't really a big fan of grinding the artifact power for the weapons, but maybe that's just me. Legion was also the biggest step of our player becoming, like, the, quote, main character which I really just don't like at all. I much prefer just being an adventurer or even a hero of Azeroth with just everyone else, but not the chosen one. I don't like that. But all things considered, Legion was just so good and really fun for me. To be honest, Legion and Wrath are kind of tied, but I had to put one over the other and I just played a lot more Legion than I did Wrath of the Lich King. And at number one, I have the Burning Crusade. Can you tell I like fighting the Burning Legion? For the most part, it kind of seems like Burning Crusade was just them 
finishing putting everything they wanted to have in Vanilla WoW, with a lot to back that up too. There's the fact that they wanted to put Outland in Vanilla WoW, but it had to be cut at the time, and that's why the Dark Portal is there in Vanilla, and places like Karazhan are there in Vanilla, but the raid's not open until Burning Crusade. Going into the Dark Portal for the first time had to be one of the best ways to open a new expansion. I can only imagine the feeling players had back in 2007 going through that thing for the first time and then not being disappointed by a crappy expansion. The only bad thing I think they did in the whole expansion was getting rid of 40-man raids. Imagine going in with 40 other dudes to take down Illidan or girls, and Kael'thas, and Archimonde, and Kill Jaden. it would have made those experiences so much more epic in my opinion. And I personally think the crazy ass attunement process to get into the raids was awesome, making you do pretty much all of the content before you can get to the good stuff. Oh yeah, and they also added arenas to the game, making PvP bigger than ever. And Burning Crusade, well, it was the first expansion, and in my opinion, it was the best expansion. They just never got it quite as good as this one again, in my opinion. Maybe it's to do with Activision acquiring Blizzard during the expansion, but I'm sure there's many, many other reasons. And that is my ranking. So hey, if you don't agree with my ranking, drop a comment down below. I'd love to know yours. If you don't know what the comments still, drop a zug zug down there and I'll know you made it to the end. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.